Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Tank TV here. Got a quads game coming coming at you here. Uh, interesting finish. A lot, some 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 dumb plays and some awesome plays, and a lot of fraggers are out in this one. Uh, a lot of high kills, and uh, we'll, we'll step right into the action. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. It's much appreciated. Thank you guys so much for all the love. We've uh, just started the uh, really getting after this channel, really having the means to to grow the YouTube, and uh, I can't couldn't be more happy for what's what's happening with it and and the uh, and the support I've seen from you guys. So thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy this one. And here we go, quads game coming at you for, for dance. We're looking at G Pred next. TTV, he's got five kills, the only one left on his foursome right now, trying to stay alive, trying to back up here. Look at this too, interesting lowdown. He's just got a Milano with the how about that? Built the AR Milano. Gotta love it. Milano with a 3X on top of it. Then he's got the Cold War MP5 to back that up. 50 round drop. Looks like the agency suppressor on that. Actually, you know what? That could be the... That's the sound suppressor on that. Excuse me. Bruiser grip. Collapsible stock. Here's one inside of this building. He's got a heartbeat tick on that too. One outside. It pushed outside. Oh, they were ready for him. Lou was ready for G-Pred right there. See you later. Quads team's gone. Interesting choice of weapons there was I would like to see more of that see that uh Milano with the 3x on top of it See how it actually works far coming out for Lou here, and he picks up a, another one down to the right here two on his team here 15 kills for Lou two down on his team Zavi is in the where is Zavi? Let's take a look here. I mean, he's, he's actually up at another buy station. And he's fragging out church hits kids Interesting name choice there is gonna fall he gets his 12th kill they have just enough money to buy one back. They, they have enough to buy one back on their way to getting two back. Uh, in perfect timing. Get some introductions going here. Got uh, contact. Greg. Are you there? Yo, yeah, hey, how's it going? Greg the Grim Reaper, my co-host as always. And then we have Derek, our on-field reporter. Check out with him in a little bit. See if we can get maybe a little word in with this lineup here as we see Lou. No, Lou's going to move towards the team. One out in front here. Wonder. The shots close by. They're looking towards the the old the old all white building now, yellow and or orange and white, yellow and white, whatever you want to call it. But looking that way, and, and it looks like Zavi's closing in on the other side of this too. They're gonna try to pinch this circle closing fourth one, 35 seconds away for it before it tightens up. Hold on, somebody just pulled off the quad in front. Zavi firing shots. Lou with shots in behind. Tagged up, bodied, needs one bullet to hit. I'm gonna let him go. He's gonna get away up that hill there. No, nope, looks like. No, he did get away, and he just hopped off. Shots fired back inside that building. Sniper rifle coming out from that, and he did get a crack, but Lou's got to watch out. One snipe drops him here. He's not getting back up. Zavi's pushed now into Belize. Sniper out front will crack. Lou fires a couple shots back. He's going to pull back. Oh, look out. One was in tight on him. Game outside, and Brown will drop Lou. Just like that, 15 kills racked up for him. They were trying to get their teammates back. As you see, the fourth circle starting to close. It's closing on military. We're looking at purely military base right now. The two yellows up high will be in as well. And uh, when you would say your other grandma's house right here. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, I like that name. That works there. Oh, you like that one, Greg? Yeah, yeah, you got grandma's house right next to Mount Bluff. So, you know, your other grandma's house. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you like that one, Greg. <laughs> Shots fired at Zavi now. He's trying to lock down this team, but they've they've done a decent job here. They've got at least one sniper, potentially two, that were holding the inside of the building, and then one uh, one fragger that was just out there pushing. And it looks like a team coming up. One out to the right there. Whole team pushing up this gap here. As you hear, still see some shots over from the left. Zavi going to fire some shots back. That way he's running out of ammo, though. He basically has one clip. One hops out that window, walks right. Oh, cuckoo, banana bird. What were you thinking? Walks right out the door, right into the, the arms of Zavi for his 13th kill. Snipe comes in from the backside, though. I'm about to bust a nut. Just took out Zavi with a snipe shot to the back of the head. Good night. Eight teams left, 23 people. As you see, there's going to be a, just a heavy push from this hillside. I'm about to bust a nut. Don Solo, Elroy Jenkins, and Big Daddy Franks. We see the Farah for nut here. He has the armor box, cluster strike, two Semtex, four plates. No gas mask for him. Here's the car 98 for Don Solo. He's got two stuns, two Semtex. Look at this team just, just holding the bushes right now. Looking down that way with the sniper rifle. Farah for Elroy Jenkins. Move it. Move it. And a Milano. Classic right now. Yeah, it's basically all we're getting. Yep. Until it's nerfed, the Farah will it's just king and will be king. It is deadly. 
Absolutely deadly. Away. Deadly. Don Solo has the AK Cold War, AK-47, behind uh, his sniper rifle there. And the only one we haven't seen just yet. Greg, what are you doing? I hit the button! I didn't it's not loading! Classic, Greg. Classic. Shots from behind. No, Cracked. Sorry. Nut here. He's going to try to play it up. And Big Daddy Franks has the Farah. He's got three kills. Two Semtex, two stuns, and a gas mask. Eight plates and a satchel. Only one with a self-res is Jenkins. They do have a little bit of cash here, but no buy station necessarily nearby. The deepest one, or the closest one, the only one that's going to be back in will be military in the opposite end inside the, uh, the training rounds, if you will. And we have another buy out on the airstrip, and the one up to the left, they're not going to be able to get over there. Here they come. They're going to move into zone here on the high end. Uh, this will be the technically the west side of military here, but they're going to move on that high end. Pushing from that side. The only higher point of this area will be up on that little cliff there with the telephone pole. And and that you see that green ping. Multiple teams moving in from that position as well as this fifth circle starts to tighten up in one minute before it closes. They got a ping on somebody. Look at that. Big Daddy Franks drops him. That'll be his fourth kill there. And Don Solo is climbing one of the towers now. He's going to get that, that height we were talking about. He's going to even that out by taking, uh, taking height advantage here. And he's going to lay it out with the car. On the second tier of the telephone pool. There's a loadout crate and an opponent. Don's going to put the ping out for his teammates to read. One deeper than that, too. A lot coming in. Not, not really a clean shot for him to take. Got the variable scope on that. Oh, in the triangle. I hate that triangle. It's tough. You got a most wanted, too, down in one of the bunk bedrooms. You see here. Just popped up, too. Looks like they're going to be hiding back towards the bathroom. Don going to climb all the way up. Jenkins, Big Daddy Franks. And bust a nut. All just going to hold these two buildings right outside. Great vision if you see out this window here from Big Daddy Franks. That's where he dropped his last opponent there. But the vision here is, is great to look down on military from with five teams, 14 people. you got to figure four teams with ten. Seems looking pretty good. Circle will pull away from them, but they do have decent position. Dawn! Yep, I was worried about that. He doesn't have a self-res either. The only one, again, remember, was Jenkins with the self-res. Just took the snipe to the face, and he's, there's no way, unless he's going to try to fall down and somebody catch him, but somebody climbing this. Jenkins might go for it here, and I don't know if I agree with it. I switched again. It's just not working. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know, Greg. The spectate mode is not always friendly to us. Yep, they're going to try to catch him, but Dawn's, Dawn's not going to be able to fall. That's what Jenkins was going for there. Dawn will fall to God of Gluten. Top 10 sitch! Yes, sir. We have the top 10 situation now, what it all comes down to. Hey, it's about it might break out of the top 10 if nobody takes out this most wanted. He's still chilling in the top floor of the bunk bedroom here. Jenkins has his heartbeat out. The trusty old a Generation 1 iPad trying to pick somebody up on it. Nothing brewing just yet. No Wi-Fi connection. Busting nut with five kills pushing to this end of... Of the circle as well. They're gonna see how they how they decide to push this. They they did have high ground, but on that back end, there's not much there. I like the push to the low ground. They could buy back there. That might be what they're going for too. The buy station. Get back, Don Solo. His stuff will be out of zone, but that buy that that uh new that loadout did drop within reach in this circle. So six circle tightening up now. All important eighth just moments away. But let's take a look at the seventh. He's gonna pull to the west side of all of this here. Northwest heartbeat sensors picking up that most wanted, but there's a team to the right. You can hear the footsteps. Let's see how they decide to play this. All tightened inside this small room, just outside the main warehouse and military. Bust the nut drops one. Somebody challenged that door and made a mistake. Nut's gonna drop a cluster on his head. Semtex uh, and a stun grenade had hit just outside. That's a frag grenade as well. They're trying to just really get after this spot. Oh no, wait a second. Cluster strike will drop Busted Nut inside the building. That's unfortunate. Jenkins is gonna fall suit too as to KC and hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Everybody's just gonna die in that corner there. He's trying to push in just in the last second. Stun grenade comes out. Gas pushing him. Gas bash just broke as you see the opponent moving in here. It's just Big Daddy Franks. He did. He wasn't able to get placed back on, but KC.
absolutely laid out Jenkins and Big Daddy. The cluster. Oh, no, look out. God of Gluten just takes it back right there. Inside. Oh, God of Gluten might have been the one with the most one, and he brought back his whole team. They're all coming back in. But Gluten is firing off shots with that Kilo, and he connects again. Gets a crack off. Both teammates drop back in, but look at that. They just died. Gluten's in a 1v2. Or it's actually a 2v2. He needs to get Bandit back up if he can. Circle's going to shift in his favor. Bayou Bandit up top here. He might. Can he Can he pull this off? I've never even seen if this is a potential. It doesn't matter. He's not going to be able to. And Krios took him out there. It's a 1v2. But look at this. God of Gluten picks up his 14th kill. 1v1 situation for the win here. Around the corner. And he does it. Rage and KD can't kick it home. And Gluten answers back. The AK-74U was beautiful there. Picks up the double. I, I mean, he just wiped out the end. Had that most wanted. Nobody pushed him. He held it down, brought back his whole team just to watch them all die anyway. And it didn't matter. 14 kills and a dub. Bringing it home. Clutch City, baby. Oh, my. Takes another shot, just misses. Look at this, Frank. Oh, my.